It's not going to be easy to stop Karpov without dragging Sonny into this. Um, while we're on the subject of that most dubious personage, I'm, I'm referring to Comrade Karpov, of course, not Mr. Sonny. You got a minute? For what? Why would Stone Cold spend any of his precious, overextended time in conversation with the twisted Darth Lansing? Because I'm the guy who can help Johnny and Lulu. Okay, if you're here to manipulate Stone Cold with your lies and evasions... Okay, take, take, take it easy, kid. Does he have to be here? Yeah. You're the one who doesn't belong here, Rick. Oh, well, I could leave, but then you'd never hear my brilliant strategy. Hmm? I don't really care. I came here under the impression that you cared about Lulu, my mistake. Wait, 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 wait. Perhaps it would be prudent to hear the loyally one out. I mean, he did mention a strategy. All right, Rick, what do you got? Well, loyally ones like to call it putting the victim on trial. I don't think it's going to be very hard to prove that Logan was the aggressor here. You know, the out-of-control war vet, probably suffering from post-traumatic stress, finally snaps, goes after Johnny for the girl in the middle, and... Unfortunately, Johnny had to kill him in self-defense. That's actually a pretty good idea. Thank you. But, yeah, your skills as an attorney cannot be disputed, but your motives are suspect. Why would you wish to exonerate the Prince of Darkness when he is, in fact, your competition for the ear and control of evil Anthony? Who cares what my motives are if I get the job done? Look, your sidekick here is a little kooky, but he's definitely one of the most brilliant hackers around. If anybody could find Johnny and Lulu, it's Spinelli. All I need for you to do is track them down, convince them to turn themselves in, and I'll take it from there. I need to talk to Rick. Hold on. As you wish. So, what, what, what makes you think that I give a damn about Johnny and Luke? Are you friends with Luke? Okay, we'll put that aside. The more pertinent reason is that you would be directly affected if Johnny and Lulu were to end up dead. You know, if Johnny dies, Anthony's gonna lose whatever tenuous grasp he has on sanity, Jason. All bets would be off, and Anthony Zakara running amok would definitely upset the delicate balance that you are so desperately trying to maintain. You can't afford the unrest. You know, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I never would have thought Sonny would have betrayed you. There's no betrayal. Sonny took a job. That's it. Come on, Jason. All right, you call it what you will, but as far as I can see, it's flat-out betrayal, and it's in your face. Look, you know it, I know it, Sonny knows it, and Karpov knows it. Sonny basically turned around, and he made a deal with somebody who's coming after your territory. That's what's happening, right? I mean, no matter what lies Sonny spreads you... I know what you're you. doing, Rick. I know what you're doing. You want me to retaliate. You want me to make a move against Sonny that isolates him, gets him mad enough to join you and the Zakaras. It's not gonna happen. about what I said. I just had a very interesting conversation with Anthony Zakara. Did he threaten you? No, why would he? Anthony's got no beef with me. I let him stay in my hotel. Only so I could spy on him for oh, you, but that didn't don't, awesome. Please don't spy on anybody. It's not going to help me. Well, this time it did. I was nice to Anthony, and he reciprocated. He reached out to me. What? He's worried about Johnny. He found out about Laura, and he's afraid history is going to repeat itself. That Lulu's going to crack under pressure and get Johnny killed. Are we any closer to finding Spinelli, them? She, Spinelli's been working on this thing since day one. We got nothing right now, Carly. Well, at least they're good at staying out of sight. Well, Johnny and Lulu are relatively safe. The cops don't have any leads either. What aren't you telling me? business. It's Carpon. No, it's Johnny. It's Johnny. If Johnny gets hurt, Anthony is going to lose it. Things are going to get ugly. That's going to give Karpov the opening he needs to make a move against me. With Sonny's help. Carly, I don't want you waving any red flags at Sonny. There's enough anger between you guys, and you know what? You promised me that you would not confront Sonny about Karpov, and I'm going to hold I you won't. to that. I don't want to put any more pressure on you, okay? But I won't pretend that I'm not furious with Sonny, because I can't believe he's doing this to you. Things gonna work out. Huh? Who's taking care of you? Yeah, come on, I don't need anyone to take care of me. Yes, huh? you do. Well, look, everything's fine. Anthony's focused on finding Johnny. Karpov's still finding his way. There's nothing to worry about right now. You're a terrible liar.
Which is one more reason I have to lie for you. Carly. Hey. Wow. You got anything? Uh, I'm exploring a new um avenue of information gathering by way of uh Karpov's personal life. I may be able to uh, utilize the purchase records of a of a girlfriend to um as a starting point for information. Okay, I, I don't know what the hell you just said, right. but if it works, just do it. Okay, okay? I'll start the search. Um, hey, while we're waiting, um, might be a good time for the other grasshopper and his master to have a what, what is what is the stop right now? What what is wrong with you? Why are you twitching? You know we we are indeed a good team, and. I mean, yes, her thought patterns aren't necessarily linear, and her ideas are often unconventional, but her insights are useful, even inspiring Hey, hey, what are you talking about? Okay. Despite Stone Cold's instructions pertaining to anything privileged vis-a-vis -vis anything related to mob activities or Karpov in particular... <sighs> this is about Maxie. What did you tell her? Not much. Spill it. I may have alluded to the threat that Karpov poses. I can't trust you if you're going to blab everything I have you do to Maxie. Did you forget her dad's a police commissioner? Mr. Maxie Mr. would never betray my she confidence. Wouldn't, she, she wouldn't have to do it on purpose. She, it, something could slip out. Yeah. The cops would be crawling all over us. Even more important, if the wrong people realize that Maxie knows too much, she's at risk, Spinelli. I know. The Jekyll knows that all Stone Cold says is true, and, I, and I've... I've already resolved to, to distance myself from Fermax and Mista, but Stone Cold, it is so hard! I, the, her flame, it draws this moth with it. Ooh. Results. What is it? Information of a, a most dire nature. Uh, two of Karpov's female acquaintances have met violent ends, most notably one who was... Well, having sex with him on a 10th floor balcony that plunged to her death. Karpov called it a tragic accident. 